Okay, so um, this example is going to think and work through a problem having to do with uh, percent recovery. And percent recovery is um, a performance test for your method, essentially to test um, whether the matrix of your sample is going to affect um, the concentration that you calibrate from an external calibration curve. So let's say that we run um, a sample using HPLC. Let's say we run a Coke Zero sample, and I'm totally making up this data, so don't call Coke Zero and tell them that I said this. Um, but let's say we, we run our unknown after we've run a calibration curve and determine that the concentration of caffeine in our unknown is 15 ppm. And so that's going to be the concentration of our own, which is, or the concentration of our unknown, which is the same as the concentration of the unspiked sample. So this is our unspiked sample. And we know that the matrix or the solution um, of Coke Zero is very different from the matrix in which we made our calibration standards, which was just in a mixture of methanol and water. So we're going to take our same sample that we ran and that we determined to have a concentration of caffeine of 15 ppm, and we're going to add a little bit um, of standard caffeine, and we call this a spike or a fortification. And so let's say that we add five ppm of caffeine to my sample. Now, in theory, when I now measure the concentration of my unknown plus the added spike, um, the concentration should be the sum of these two values, and that would give me an 100% recovery. Okay, so let's say we, we run our spiked sample and we get a concentration of our spiked sample based on using our calibration curve of 18.7 ppm. So we can see right off the bat that 18.7 is not the sum of 15 and 5. Um, so we don't have 100% recovery. But what is our percent recovery? Well, we take the concentration of our spiked sample, which we measured to be 18.7 ppm, minus the concentration of our unspiked sample, which we measured to be 15, and divide that or normalize it by the fortification concentration or the concentration of the spike. <clears throat> and then multiply by 100 to get percent. So let me type that into my calculator. 18.7 minus 15. Okay, so I get a recovery percentage of 74%, which falls outside of the acceptable range. We'll talk about that acceptable range in class. Um, so this tells us that our matrix is really affecting <clears throat> the concentration of our analyte or caffeine. So we might have to consider doing a different calibration method other than an external calibration curve. Okay, thanks.